Thank you for joining me again. I'm glad to see that you are excited to take this digital interactive notebook to your Google Classroom. For this next tutorial, I will model how you can use this digital interactive notebook in your Google Classroom first. I want to take you through assigning your notebook, then I'm going to take you to a student view and then show you a teacher view. On the left side of my screen, you're going to see that I've created slides for you. These slides provide the steps that I will be going over in this tutorial for your reference. On the right side of my screen, you're going to see me demonstrate a live view of this digital interactive notebook in my Google Classroom. Let's get started. You will begin by accessing your Google Classroom and the particular class that you want to assign this digital notebook to. Now that you've created your digital and interactive notebook, it's time to assign your notebook. How do I assign my interactive digital notebook? What you want to do is you do want to go to create and let's select create. And in this case, let's create an assignment. And let's give this assignment a title period three notebook, okay? And then let's go ahead and add my assignment. Now, because I use Google Slides to create my digital interactive notebook, it is automatically stored into my Google Drive. And so I'm going to get it from my Google Drive and let's go ahead and select period three and let's insert that. Now, I do want to bring your attention to my next slide where it talks about select make a copy for each student always. Now this is very, very important. And the reason why this is important is because if you do not select this option, what will happen? When a student opens his or her notebook and makes any changes, he or she will edit all the other students' notebooks. So it's very important for you to give each student a copy for that one particular student, as we do note that each student will have different answers or responses for particular assignments. So we want to ensure that each student gets his or her own notebook. And so always choose make a copy for each student. Okay, now that you've done that and then you've filled out your information here, let's go ahead and assign the notebook. So we'll click assign. And we should get a notification that our notebook has been assigned. And all right, so our notebook has been assigned and had, it has been created. And let's go ahead and see what would my notebook look like from a student view. And so let's go ahead and go into the student view, okay? And usually your students will get a notification in their stream, okay? Or you could even see your notification in your email. And so let's go ahead and go to the assignment. And again, there are different ways to access the assignment. And so let's view the assignment. And here is the digital interactive notebook that my teacher has assigned. Now, what happens if I wanted to complete a task that was assigned to me in my digital interactive notebook, what would I do? And so again, this is the student view and I'm going to go to the journal prompt for week one. Describe how this pandemic has made you realize other important aspects about life. I'm going to type a very simple answer. This pandemic has made me realize, realize, the importance of family life. We'll just keep it very simple. Of course, we do want our students to expand their answers. And so let's keep this very simple and go to the next assignment. What happens if I wanted to complete another activity in this digital interactive notebook? Let's go to the theme sort. If you notice in the, in the student view, you cannot manipulate the table. However, what you can do is drag and drop the text boxes. And so I want to drag this answer here and then sort this right here. 
okay? And so I completed two assignments in the Digital Interactive Notebook. Now what I want to do is I want to see, right, as a teacher, how do I view my student's notebook? And so because this is on Google Slides, it's going to store automatically. And let's go ahead and go into the teacher view and see how it looks from a teacher's view. Let's get out of here and let's go into the teacher view. Okay, so I'm going to go and let's refresh this. I'm going to go into classwork. And there are different ways to access assignments and you will get notifications but let's go into this and let's go to view assignment let's go to assign here and let's go to Kevin Cruz right Kevin Cruz's notebook here and let's see if Kevin Cruz completed the assignments and we'll go ahead and view the journal prompt and we do see the response that was left here, this pandemic has made me realize the importance of family life and then we do see the changes made to the theme sort. All right, and you can give feedback and what you can do is leave a comment. So we'll keep it simple. Of course, we do wanna give valuable feedback for, but let's go ahead and just give a simple comment for today. Thank you for completing the theme sort. Activity. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Now this, again, I'm giving feedback to the student and leaving a comment. And in this case, I did not put a grade for this particular notebook only because I'm going to be using it throughout the school year or throughout the quarter. And so I do not want to give the grade just yet, all right? And so from there, Let's go ahead and go to see the feedback given for the student, okay? And so what you can see here is that the student will get a notification that a comment has been left, right? And when the student opens up the notebook, the student will see the feedback. <music> sums up the tutorials for using the digital interactive notebook in your Google Classroom. I hope that you found this useful and I'm excited to see how you take this back to your classroom and make it even better. If you have any questions, please email me at tjbenaventi at gdoe.net. Thank you.